growing up here, going to school here. Uh, I have a lot of family and friends and I know the area. So just being in an environment where you feel comfortable and you, you, know, you feel welcomed, uh, you know, it's, it's a good experience. Everything happens for a reason. Lord wanted me to go to Rice, <laughs> so uh, I went to school, thankfully. Um, but looking back on it, um, I definitely wasn't mature as I think I, I thought I was uh, coming out of high school. So uh, actually going through professional baseball and uh, knowing what it takes to, to be on your own and whatnot, I don't think I would have been able to do, done that uh, like 17, 18 years old. Yeah. Definitely wouldn't say easy. Um, I mean, I don't think anything about this game is easy, but uh, I think just being at the right place at the right time, you know, obviously being with you guys, being at Rice and being with uh, the coaching staff over there at the time, um, we had a good, good amount of players around us too. I mean, that, I think 2009 might have been our best, my best year with uh, with the school. So um, I think that just, you know, feeds all together into the success, success that I had that year. We have Holt, we have Brock, <laughs> um, um, I mean, so our freshman year, and he was a big staple in our lineup. Um, but we did have a lot of success uh, with our second year as well. But I mean, we did go the furthest in my freshman year when we played LSU in some regionals. Uh, I still keep up with a good amount of the guys. We'll go golf, and we'll definitely hang out, have some barbecues. And so um, I know one of the things that Rice, <laughs> I guess still remember in 08, they say, oh, when you come to Rice, you build a lifetime of friendships or whatever. And you know, you know, 18, 17, 18 years old, you don't believe that. You're like, whatever, I'm just coming to college. But it actually did mean something, uh, no matter what it was with uh, just a regular Rice student or another Rice athlete, um, I definitely kept in contact with the majority of my Rice friends. Just going into the playoffs, every time we would uh, we would go <laughs> we would go into the R room and then we would all be around, the news crew would be there, we'd try and see, uh, all right, which way are we gonna fall in our national seed, you know, one through eight, or where are we gonna end up playing in the regional or the super regional potentially. Um, I think that environment of, you know, baseball starting to get a little more competitive and, you know, the crew and crop are starting to like, Disperse and into their own little gap, or whatever, and uh, you know, just like get a little more fun. Oh man, I think the best one had to be um, shoot, was it? I think it might have been our sophomore year. Um, I mean, we had we obviously go through a struggle. At, I mean, every one of our years, nine, ten, eleven, um, where you know we couldn't get the ball in play, we couldn't move runners or whatever it would be. Um, so for whatever reason, we couldn't sacrifice a guy over. We've been popping the ball up, missing them, whatever, fouling them off, and. So the next next day at practice or the next week, he, um, that's all we did was just bunt. And we were still struggling. It's like, it's not that hard. Uh, you do it like this, you just drop it back here and then you just bunt it. And we're all like, all right, coach, whatever, you know, you think you know everything. And so Banak was actually throwing live. And, uh, Good news and all <laughs> And coach was like, give me the bat. I'll show you how to do it. Banak, throw me a pitch. And Banak like, do I throw it hard? <laughs> what if I drill the guy? <laughs> and uh, he's like, obviously, he's one in there. He threw it. Of course, coach just drops the bat and puts it right down the left, like third base line. It's like, oh, he just walked off. <laughs> we didn't say anything anymore about how easy it was to bunt, or how hard it was. It was unbelievable. I didn't think he was going to do it. Uh, we've had a lot of, uh, I guess, military personnel uh, come through. We'll have a good, good group of guys that will come in and talk to us, or they'll just be stopping by. Just want to say hello and shake hands with us. So, um, I guess being in DC. Um, we get a lot of military figures that come through, and so it's pretty special. And I don't know. I guess it's win ball games. Um, we still got a lot, a lot of season left. So I mean, I feel like we've been playing forever, but we still got to finish August, and we have all of September to play still in the regular season. So um, just as long as we stay healthy, we keep on grinding, and uh, just you know, stay true to our game and not try to do too much.